three ways you can give your website a fresh new look. Hello, it's John, it's the Marketing Throners podcast, take, taken at the top of a mountain. We are in France, in Les Alpes, skiing. We, I'm here with my son, taking a week off. You might say, hey, this is work, but this is fun, this takes me 10 minutes on top of the mountain. So, for those who want to know, we're in the Alps from La Plagne. This is the uh, gondola all the way up to the Belcott Glacier. Uh, and <coughs> we've just done the black and the red run on the glacier. Now we're doing a long red run all the way down. So we are at approximately 3,200 metres. As you can see behind, it's the top mountain just over that way is Mont Blanc. I suppose I could have had this facing. But anyway, you just want to know about websites. So what can you do? First of all, why should you? Why should you have a fresh new look for your website? Well, because otherwise it gets boring, it gets stale. There will be people who will come back and look at your site, who will think, I have done that before. I have been there, I've seen this, I've read it all. Now, of course, if they come back and it looks a slightly different, they should know they're at the right site because they've seen it, uh, they've seen it url the website <laughs> that's where they came and they're going to think oh look it's different let's have a look what's happened what's there and you can do this every now and again so three tips first of all quite obviously the home page just rearrange things a bit so if you've got an image at the top change it if you've got some colors in your in your menu in your sidebar change them slightly you don't have to go for a drastic new look you can but you don't have to and of course you could be doing testing for conversions but this is not what I'm talking about and to be honest that's not really the best way to uh, to be tested for conversions anyway we'll leave that for another thing it's a bit more advanced but if you're using WordPress you can easily change the color in the background if you can't you can easily find someone on Fiverr who will do it for you for just a few quid so have a look, change the top, you can change the menu, just the look. You can put something different on the sidebar, you can put something different in the footer. You can change the message slightly. If it's got a picture of you, update it, change that. Uh, perhaps you sh one thing I recommend for uh, most of my um, students and, and clients is that you have three options when someone comes to the site it has a message at the top it has some form of opt-in so that the people it confirms to people they're in the right place and don't just say better not say welcome to not that and then below three options so divide them into three areas are they this are they that are they this are you looking for the podcast are you looking for the latest articles are you looking for resources give them three options and send them that way into the site. Don't let them figure it all out on their own. Number two, the menu. Now, of course, I mentioned the menu there. Yes, you can change it uh, in the color and so on. But what I mean is to change what's in the menu. Don't just have, uh, I mean, you're likely gonna have home and most people have products and services, resources, about us, contact us. Just mix up the names a bit or move the menu move it down, change the color, change the style, add a couple of sub menus. Again, in, in WordPress, this is easy. Most other things uh, you're thinking, well, this is difficult, but if you've listened to me and got the type of website that you can control and you can use, or you can get someone else to do uh, for you because it's easy, like WordPress, then this is simple. Of course, if you're gonna stick with an ancient site that you've had for the last five years or 10 years, good luck to you. That's all I say. Good luck with that. Um, I right little little ad for myself. If you join the Owners Club, which is at theownersclub.co, all right. If you join the Owners Club, because that's our paid product, it costs twenty nine pounds per month, or thirty five dollars. But included within that is website one oh one. Now that shows you. It takes you through every single click, not the steps, every click that you make. So you click, if we say click this button and then this is the next page. We will show you how to set up a WordPress site. It, it's the course, it's loads of little short videos. It's included within the menu. 
uh, within the membership of the Owners Club. And it used to, well, you can actually buy it uh, for £300, £299. Go look, people do. But that shows you how to do this. So what excuse do you have now for changing a website? You can actually have a website made to look exactly like the one you've got now if you love your website, but made on WordPress that can do these things. So like I say, change up your menu. Maybe add another menu down at the bottom of the page in the footer that repeats it. Because when people scroll down, they've forgotten where the top was and all that kind of stuff, or what's at the top. You probably, most of us over, over assume what people can remember about our site because we've seen it all the time. We know menus are at the top of websites. You will be amazed how many other people are not. Now the third step is I recommend you go through your website, the main pages, and if you want to know which the main pages are, go into your Google Analytics and just look at the most popular landing page. If you're not sure how to do that, Google it or YouTube it. There will be a video of how to do that. Remember, you don't have to be technical, so don't use that as the excuse. Go in, find popular pages, go through and replace the images. Oh, replace them with similar but more advanced, better, because they were probably taken when cameras weren't so good. Maybe you took them. Maybe you've got better ones. Maybe you've got better app photography. Look at the top sites. Search for your keywords. Look at the top sites that come up because Google likes those and customers like them. That means customers click on them. They stay on the site because they like them. So that means Google likes them even more. So Google keeps them at the top of the rankings. You follow? So do that. Look at the images that they use. Don't just have one image at the top of, your, of each post or each page and then nothing else afterwards. Have lots of images, add them, break up that text, add extra paragraph breaks. Just leave the text it is, as it is. If that page was ranking as the best, leave it as it is. Just change the images so that when new people come along, because you're going to think, well, what about the old people who come back? They've read that page. They're not coming back. This is for new people. Just improve it and make it better. Constant improvement. Okay. So those are my short, three short tips. Lots of people standing around wondering what I'm doing here. And, uh, and as you can hear, for those who hear everyone skiing past, staring, yes, what do you want to know? Or pretend they're not looking, wondering what I'm doing, because there was only one pole. This is the 24, means 2.4 kilometers of Lacombe, a red pole. And there wasn't anywhere to do this, because I'm not carrying a tripod. By the way, if you want to know how I'm doing this, I've got a gorilla pod wrapped around with its three legs. You know, that's the ones with the bendy legs, wrapped around gripping on a pole with a little gripper on the top holding my iPhone and then a little microphone just and that was in my back in my pocket easy eh and the backpack um, so I tell you what I'll give you three tips I'm going to give you a bonus tip make sure that every single image on your site and every single page has the sharing buttons now uh, it means so that people if they like it can share your page on Facebook on Twitter on Pinterest on Instagram whatever now if you don't know how to do that look up top sharing apps and Pete there will be lots of sites lots of blogs all on WordPress yes because there you know how to use a proper WordPress a proper website that will tell you the best apps a lot of those apps will work on a normal website and you will be able to find somebody on Fiverr who can add those to your website most of them these most of these apps are free some are paid most of them are free. If you have WordPress, it's a piece of cake. Just look for the most popular ones. But to be honest, just use Sumo Me. It's got them built in, and then you can add them to images. And then the people who like your stuff will share it. Bonus. Okay, end of that. I want to go skiing. Um, it is Tuesday, Toolbox Tip. Of course, I've been going on about uh, WordPress and so on. And if you want a beautiful WordPress site, I always recommend Studio Press. And in fact, studiopress.com. If you go there, they are part of the what used to be called Copy Blogger Media, is now called Rainmaker. Um, our website is built with Rainmaker, which is their sort of flash version with all the add-ons. Studio, it uses Studio Press theme, so my website uses a Studio Press theme. Uh, they're all customizable. They all work on mobile. They are all all have the instructions on how to work it. And again, that um, at in the Owners Club 
£29 a month. It's all included in WordPress 101 as to how to buy, how to select and how to install and how to customise a StudioPress website. But StudioPress now have StudioPress sites, I think they call it, which is fully hosted as well. So StudioPress and hosted by them on their super fast servers, which is like I use, just doesn't have the fancy extra bits in the background, like for uh, podcasts and so on. Anyway, uh, tomorrow, by the way, we have Carrie Wilkerson. Um, now, this is our expert interview. Carrie is one of the best online. She has the book, The Barefoot um, Executive, is it? I can't remember now. Is it Barefoot? Anyway, but she, she is known as the Barefoot Executive, and uh, we will be finding out tomorrow. I strongly recommend it's going to be a cracking interview. I'll be back with another short tip on Thursday, and then I'm going home from the Alps. See you then. <laughs>